First part, The Agony of the Empire, Chapter 1, The Awakening. The Empire was coming to an end. It was killing at its ease. In its room, where the threshold smelt of blood, he reigned. But in the air blew the Marseillaise. Red was the rising sun. Louis Michel, Songs from Jail. In the night of terror which since December covered the Third Empire, France seemed dead. But in times when nations sleep, as if in sepulchres, life in silence grows and ramifies. Events call each other, respond to each other, similar to echoes. In the same way that one chord vibrating makes another vibrate. Grandiose awakenings succeed to these apparent deaths of then, and the transformations explode results of slow evolutions. The then emanations envelop the beings, groups them, carries them in such a real way that actions seem to precede the will. Events are precipitated, it is the time in which hearts are soaked as the steel of swords in the furnace. Over there, by the cyclones, when the sky and the earth are one night, where moan like human chests the flows throwing furiously against the rocks their white claws of foam. Under the howls of the wind, we feel ourselves living in the depth of time within the unfeathered elements. By the revolutionary torments, on the contrary, attraction is towards what is ahead. The epigraph of this chapter gives the impressions which was felt at the end of the empire by those who were throwing themselves in the struggle for liberty. The empire was coming to an end. It was killing at its ease. In its room, where the threshold smelt of blood, he reigned, but in the air blew the Marseillaise, red was the rising sun. Liberty was passing through the world, the international was her voice, screaming across the borders the claims of the disinherited. The plots of the police were showing their patterns in the Bonaparte regime. The Roman Republic slaughtered, the expeditions in China and Mexico showing their hideous sides, the memory of the dead of the coup d'etat, all of this constituted a sad procession to he who Victor Hugo called Napoleon the Little. He was so bloody, the blood reached the belly of his horse. Everywhere, as a tidal wave, misery was rising, and it wasn't the loans of the imperial prince's society which could change that. Nevertheless, Paris was paying for this society, heavy taxes, and still owes two million. Terror surrounded the festive Élysée, the legend of the First Empire, the famous seven million votes ripped through fear and corruption formed around Napoleon III, the third, a rampart with the reputation of impregnability. The man with suspicious eyes hoped to last forever. The rampart, however, was pierced by breaches. In that of Sedan, finally passed the revolution. None among us thought that anything could equal the crimes of the empire. This time and ours resemble each other, following the expression of Rochefort like two drops of blood. In this hell, like today, the poets sang the epic which we were about to live and die, some with ardent verses, others with sour laughs. How many of our songs from then would be of actuality today?
Bread is expensive, money is rare. Osman raises the rent. The government is greedy, only snitches are well paid. Tired of this long Lent, which weighs on poor folks. Nevertheless, it could very well be that we take the harness to the teeth. Let us dance the Bonaparte. We aren't the ones gifting. Let us dance the Bonaparte. We will put on the menu the violins. Jean-Baptiste Clément Words did not scare us from throwing in their face the disgrace of the powerful. The song of the Badinguette made the imperial bands howl in fury. Friends of power, you want to know how Badinguet, by swing of the wand, becomes by chance Mrs. Caesar? The beauty in the depth of Spain lived. Ah, drinker of champagne she was, friend of power, etc. In my people, if my people yells or blasphemes, I do not care. He who was a snitch in England and later an executioner can very well excuse themselves, live in concubinage, friends of power, etc. Henri Rochefort Among the happy memories of prison was the song of the Badinguette. Song, one night, at full voice, by the masses of female prisoners, which we were on the constructions of Versailles. Between two fuming lamps, which shine light on our bodies, spread on the ground against the walls. The soldiers who were guarding us, and for whom the empire was still going on, felt dread and fury. We would have, they yelled, exemplary punishment for insulting His Majesty the Empire, the Emperor. A new chorus, this one seized by the crowd shaking the wreckage of the empire and the power of enraging our vanquishers. For two cents the whole pack, the father, the mother, Badang, and the little Badangye. The hard-held belief that the empire would endure was still, was still so strong in the army of Versailles that like many others, I was able to read on, my, on the order of my judicial persecution which was signaled to me at the correction of Versailles. Having regard to the report and opinion of the rapporteur and the conclusions of the imperial commissioner tending to refer the matter to the Sixth Council of War, etc., the government had not thought it worthwhile to change the formula. For a long time, the resignation of the masses to suffer outraged us. During the final tormented years of Napoleon III, we, the enthusiasts of deliverance, we saw it so early that our impatience was so much the greater. Fragments of this epoch remain to me. To those who wish to remain slaves, since the people desire that the imperial eagle soar over his, abjecate, his abjection, since he sleeps crushed under the cold gust of eternal oppression, since they want those who are getting slaughtered to lean the chest to the knife, let us force, my friends, the terrible throat cutters. We will free the herd. One alone is legion when he gives his life, when to all he says, Godspeed. Alone with ourselves we will go. Boldness terrifies. We have iron and fire, enough cowardness, cowards are traitors, vile mass, drink, eat, and sleep. Since you want to wait, then wait, licking the hand of your master. Do you not yet have enough dead? The blood of your children makes the earth red. Sleep within the mass grave with death walls. Sleep. Hear masses, bee by bee, the heroic swarm of the suburbs, Montmartre, Belleville, O valiant legion, come, it is time to end it. 
Arise, the shame is heavy, and the chains weigh us down. Arise, it is beautiful to die. Louise Michel Oh, how it had been long since we had desired to rip our bloody hearts from our chests and throw it at the face of the imperial monster. How it had been long that had been saying coldly determined these verses of punishment. Harmodius, it is time you may strike this man with impunity. Thus we would have done it as one would take off a rock from the rails. The tyranny back then had only one head. The dreams of the future enveloped us. The man of December seemed our only obstacle to freedom.